Wow. A big thanks to Borniac Smokers for sponsoring this video. Ever heard of the 4-2-10 method of cooking brisket? Let's put it to the test. One of the barbecue channels that I personally follow is Smoke Trails Barbecue. This guy is really awesome. He makes freaking awesome videos and it's mostly about brisket. So definitely go check that out if you're into brisket. The link's down below. So I was watching one of his videos and he explained how chefs that have barbecue restaurants smoke their briskets but don't cook it all the way up to the finishing temperature but take it up to a certain temperature and then just let it run for a long period of time now he took that method and put it into the real world like our world you and me the way we cook briskets so i wanted to see what this is all about i never tried it i'm calling it the 4 2 10 method because that just makes it a little bit more easy to understand it is four hours smoking at a low temperature two hours at a high temperature and 10 hours keeping it stable and letting it just melt. And that melting part sounds really good. So I got a beautiful brisket. This is an Australian Wagyu brisket. It's got a lot of intramuscular fat, but it also has a lot of fat on top. I don't want to get rid of all of that fat. I want to keep some of it on. I just want to clean it up a little bit. For instance, this little floppy bit, it's got to go. I'm going to trim this side up as well. Now this is going to be a home style Texas brisket. So I don't want to overdo it on the trimming. Now a classic Texas style brisket, it's all about the black pepper. So I'm just going to sprinkle this with some salt. I want to use coarse salt. And don't worry about putting too much salt on. In my case, I'm using fleur de sel, which is one of my favorite types of salt. I'm going to do the same at the bottom. And that salt's going to draw in moisture. It's going to melt down onto that beautiful brisket. And now, as is customary with a beautiful Texas brisket, is black pepper. We want bark, so we got to put on a lot of black pepper. And now you actually do want to cover it. Now, if it doesn't want to stick, Smoke Trail says, just spray it with a little bit of water. In my case, my brisket is already super moist. I'm just going to sprinkle this on and I'm going to allow for a little bit of time to have it stick to the brisket. And as you can see, this is already a big bark. I'm just going to give this five minutes to let it stick and then I'm going to flip my brisket around. It's got to have a good crust. Of course, we want to cover all sides, making sure that we got a good looking brisket. Now, isn't that pretty? There we go. I'm going to be cooking the brisket on the best brisket cooker I have, and that's the Borniac smoker. Now, you may be the person that doesn't know about this smoker. This is an electric smoker, and it's actually perfect for this job. I'm looking for hot, dry air, and this thing runs on electricity and makes smoke itself, of course out of real wood. As you can see, the inside actually looks like a real pit. I've been smoking on this thing for a long time already and it built up a beautiful seasoning on the inside. At the bottom, there's an electric heater and on the side, there's a smoke wood chip auger. All I need to do is place in a tray that catches the dripping and put in a bowl with a little bit of water that catches the wood chips. Of course, real Texas barbecue requires post oak, so that's what I'm going to be using. Now, the first step is four hours of smoking at a low temperature. I'm going to set it on, turn on the auger for the wood chips, and then I'm going to set the temperature to run at 120 degrees Celsius. Now, 120 degrees Celsius is around 240 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to be smoking. We're going to go as slow as possible. And we basically want that brisket to pick up a lot of smoke flavor. I'm going to set it in the highest position. And since this is an Australian Wacky brisket, I'm going to put a tray underneath. That's going to catch most of the dripping that comes out of this Wacky brisket. Because letting that fat go to waste would be a shame. I'm going to show you how to reuse that fat later on in the cook. It is time. The clock is ticking 40 seconds and then four hours have passed. That's what happened. So four hours from the 4 to 10 method. It's currently at 120 degrees Celsius and I'm going to go up. And let me show you the reason why I have to go up. Because if we take a look inside at this brisket, then you can see why that is. If you take a look on top of this brisket, you can see there's a puddle existing there. And there's a little stream going down here, which means this brisket is sweating it's puddling, it's going to affect my bark. 
So we've been cooking, building up bark, but now it starts sweating. And now I wanna go up in temperature, remove that puddle only with dry air. So I'm gonna switch off my smoke generator. So I got my bark, I got my color. I probably already have plenty of flavor. Now I want that puddle to disappear. And I also wanna check on the temperature. I wanna see what's going on. Now I'm gonna close the smoker and let it continue to cook for another two hours. There we go, time's up. Two hour mark. Let's see what it looks like running at 140 degrees Celsius. And look at that bark. You can almost push it away or make it fall apart. I don't wanna break the bark. I wanna keep it as good looking as I can. So now it's time for the third step of the cooking process. The 10 hour, at least 10 hours of the next step. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the trick that I was talking about. Look at all that fat that came out of this brisket. I'm gonna put it on my table and I already laid out the butcher paper. And I'm gonna use this fat to make the butcher's paper wet. Why not use the fat that came out of your brisket to put it on your butcher's paper? We're gonna wrap it, the brisket, and with the fat in the paper, it's not gonna soak up any more of that fat and juice from the brisket. So it's already soaked up. It's not gonna need much more, which means the rest of the fat is still going to stick onto the brisket. Oh, oh, oh. oh my, it looks so good. Excellent Texas brisket. And see how it shrunk down so it fits the smoker actually. I'm gonna put it to one side of the paper. There we go. I'm gonna take out the thermometer. I'm just gonna drizzle on a little bit more of that beef tallow. They should put this in jars and sell it. It'd be worth more than caviar. Now there are people out there that tell you there's an exact way to wrap up your brisket. And personally, I've never wrapped a brisket myself the same way. So every time I do, it's gonna be different depending on the size, depending on the size of paper that I have. So there's not one set way to do it. It's just roll it up. Make sure you got it tight and secure. Two flips, and that'll be more than enough. I'm gonna cut this excess paper off, get rid of it. Good looking brisket, wrapped up, and it's ready for the next stage. Now this next stage is a bit odd because it requires kind of like a steaming phase. Normally you would run it to the temperature where you want it to be, so there's gotta be an end temperature. Currently our brisket is running at a temperature of around 80 to 85 degrees Celsius. So we're not at a fully cooked point yet. We're not gonna go there either. We're going to let time do its job. We're gonna get a 10 hour period where our brisket is gonna be steamed. It's gonna get a bath. So I'm tucking it in a tray and to that tray, I'm adding half a cup of water just to let it steam a little. And I'm going to seal it off with aluminum foil. Now seal it off properly around the edges. So there's no steam escaping. It's secure now. And I'm gonna steam it at a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius. So there we go, putting it in. Just go to Smoke Trail Barbecue's YouTube channel. He has an awesome specific video about this technique. All I wanna do is see for myself how well it works. And I got the perfect device to do it in. So I'll see you guys in 10 to 15 hours. I don't know, Marcia, what time do we get up tomorrow? It's early morning the next day. It's been a little over 10 hours. It's just, well, I had to get a cup of coffee. Get, you know the deal. No stress though. What we're figuring out here is, will it hold for longer periods of time because uh, you might have some friends over and things like that and it might not be exactly done when you want it to be done, but it's been at least over 10 hours. This thing ran stable all night while I was sleeping, nice sound in my bed. Didn't have to check anything, didn't have to do anything. It just went. Now let's take a look at that brisket and see if this method actually works. Let's get that aluminum foil off. Wow, look at that amount of moisture that sits in the pan. Let's get that brisket out. Look at that. Don't throw that away. That is pure liquid gold. Wow, what a beauty. Such a nice bark. And the good thing is because it's been running at a temperature of 65 degrees Celsius, it's actually at 
eating temperature. All right, let's slice into this beautiful brisket. Take a look inside. It cuts like butter. Look at that. That is one good looking brisket. And of course, the fat that sits between the two pieces of meat that runs out of the juices, that is naturally flowing. But more importantly, what this method does is make sure that the meat is actually juicy. Take a look at how juicy this meat is. And I didn't do anything yet, and it's just sitting there. It's not even drying up. This is fat that was sitting on the inside, coming out, it's just juicy. I didn't press it, I didn't do anything. It's as juicy as can be. I wanna get a slice. Now brisket slices shouldn't be too thick. I'm gonna get rid of that fat that sits at the bottom. And then we have one juicy bit of beef. Let's see how it pulls. Is it tender enough? It has a little bit of pull, but it's definitely tender. Flavor wise, hmm. the texture is perfect. The flavor is perfect. The bark is perfect. Barbecue smoke trails, 4 to 10 brisket method, it cannot fail. If you want to never fail your brisket again, try this method. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Until then, it's water. and keep smoking brisket. Mm. Mm. This is so good. Oh. <laughs>